this hit after 10 p.m. to our beverage-based businesses is going to be uh, it's going to be a good hit. It's going to be uh, tough to overcome it if it lasts for a long time. It's, it's almost like going back to phase one for us. And that was the owner of several restaurants and bars like Remedy, Volstead, Axe and Press, Matt Goodwin. And as Governor Inslee's new mandate of no alcohol past 10 p.m. goes into effect next week, he says his restaurants and bars will be hit really hard. I also spoke with Rima Sherva, who's the owner of the Stanko Martini Lounge. She says for her, it's time to reevaluate if another closure is to come. Here are their stories tonight. New mandates and regulations for the, uh, the pandemic change not just weekly or daily, but hourly sometimes. So we, uh, we're definitely on our toes trying to uh, make sure we're doing our part to follow the rules, the regulations, the mandates put in place. Owner Matt Goodwin says he's been rolling with the punches so far. He says with this new mandate of no alcohol sales past 10 p.m., it definitely won't be painless. It'll be a good hit to our bottom line. Um, probably 40% of our business is done after 10 p.m. And uh, that, we'll definitely feel that for sure. In particular, Press Public House will be hit the hardest. Located on the South Hill, it's the only bar that closes at 2 a.m. right now. Well, that will have to change. He says he'll be opening his restaurant and bars a few hours earlier now. Most of the time, people like to socialize and, and have a beverage with friends or family is after work or in the evening time. So um, uh, we're hopeful it helps out a little bit, but it's definitely not going to uh, make up for the hit that we're going to take from this. But Goodwin says he's been looking at the bright side of all of this, though. It's a new challenge, a new twist. But um, after we do it a couple times and get familiar with it, I, I think it'll just be uh, another new wrinkle that we have to tackle in this uh, in the pandemic. He says he understands the importance of people's safety, but wants to keep his staff up and running. I am very pro business and I'm very pro uh, keeping my employees working and keeping our economy going forward. Owner of Bistango Martini Bar, Rima Shaver, feels the same. We're running a very, very lean schedule. I'm working a lot more. Um, usually summer's kind of the time that I have the tendency to go out and play a little bit just because it's slower months for us, July and August. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm a hands-on operator. Shaver's Martini Lounge has been a staple in downtown Spokane for 15 years. With a great June, Shaver was excited for the weeks and months to come, but now she understands business could slow down as most of her customers like to come during the evening late hours. Especially this time of year, people come out, have the tendency to come out later because they're enjoying the outdoors and then they want to gather with their friends, family, significant others later on. Uh, we see a very slow time after happy hour and then we start picking up again about 8, 30. So yeah, it's going to hurt us a lot. And Goodwin tells me he is very grateful though tonight for his loyal customers. Tipping his staff, even one person at his restaurant, Remedy, tipped his staff $1,000. He says he's very appreciative tonight during this hard time.